Thank you very much, Professor. Thank you very much for that goodwill message. Um, but just before we call on the third goodwill message we have, I'd want to uh, recognize and amaze the Senior Special Assistant to Mr. President on monitoring and evaluation. Professor Monye, please can we recognize him and thank him very much. Special Advisor, sorry. Thank you very much, sir. Um, we'd also call on the Chairman of the Human Rights Writers Association, uh, Comrade Emmanuel Ombiko, to come forward and give us his good message um, for three minutes. Do you observe? Good morning, gentlemen. Madam M Minister of Finance, we are happy for this invitation you have extended to Nigerians, members of the public, to come and hear from the, what I may call the horse's mouth, the government officials, on um, what the government has for the people of Nigeria in terms of budget. Those who should know have already spoken, even though the first two speakers represent um, the institutions that a lot of Nigerians misunderstand as um, being a part of Nigeria's problem, I mean the World Bank and the IMF, but that is not, <laughs> I'm not going to talk about that, I'm going to speak on behalf of the, those we are not seeing. The, the poor Nigerians, we constitute over 80% of the population. I've just returned from the village, I own this the new state. There's no other way of knowing how the Nigeria budget works other than to go to Arundi Zogo and see for yourself the state of primit primitiveness, primitivism that a lot of Nigerian uh, you know, uh, local government areas are so criminally marginalized and neglected. We are happy that we have a Minister of Finance that over the years has endeavored to introduce a lot of um, uh, you know, uh, policy uh, directives that are transparent, that are accountable, that are open. This kind of session is an open session whereby most of the people that should know on matters that concerns our economy are invited so that we debate the, the, the 2014 budget and find ways and means of addressing most of these lacunae, most of these um, uh, things that are not available, the infrastructure, the social services, especially in, the, in, in terms of, um, um, we don't understand why the government should spend over 70 something percent to pay the officials. You, Budget for us, you say you call it Nigerian budget. At the end of the day, the budget becomes Nigerian government officials' budget because you spend about 75% paying your salaries. Then you leave less than 25% uh, to build. We don't even have the network. The transportation uh, you know, uh, sector is almost dead, even though the government has made efforts in the past couple of months to resuscitate the Nigerian railway corporation. But there are a whole lot of things that are needed. The, uh, the road infrastructure are collapsing quickly. Most federal roads across the country are almost um, non-existent. If you go to the southeast, you go to the north, you go to the southwest, most federal roads are dilapidated. To an extent, the government is thinking about inviting what they call the PP and public uh, public-private uh, partnership, you know. My advice, I'm not, I'm not an economist, I'm in a civil society, I'm a writer basically, and I'm a journalist basically. What the poor people of Nigeria are saying is that the government officials should endeavor, whatever this budget is passed, it should be implemented strictly. The nitty-gritty of this budget, not what they're going to give us at this session. I'm talking about the breakdown of this budget. For instance, we have read in the newspapers that some agencies of government that have nothing to do with aviation have even made provisions 
for falling off helicopters. You know, you don't understand. If if uh, an agency of government under the Ministry of Education is making a budgetary plan for about 30 million to be used to fly a helicopter, you need to ask, uh, 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 what is, uh, for instance, in the case of Abuja, do they have a, a helicopter? So, the breakdown of this budget should be publicized, broken down into the languages that Nigerians will understand. One great thing that this Minister of uh, Finance has done, for which all of us, every day, they will not say it openly, every day we pray for her, pray for God to protect her. They...